Among the biggest burdens on the shoulders of freelancers is the issue of securing adequate healthcare coverage. As an independent, you lose the benefit of being fully or partially covered by an employer and open yourself up to a range of choices to make when finding the most comprehensive or most affordable coverage for you and your family. Of course, with healthcare, comprehensive and affordable tend to be competing aims. The more robust your coverage, the more you'll end up paying out of pocket. The more affordable the package, the less coverage you will have and the higher deductibles you risk paying should you fall ill or get injured. The question comes down to risk and how much you feel comfortable taking on. As a start, if you recently left your 9 to 5, you might be eligible for COBRA, which allows you to extend your employer's insurance program for a set amount of time. The big catch here, you will pay these costs out of your own pocket and it's not cheap. That said, during a time of transition, COBRA provides stability and guaranteed coverage as you shop around for a more long-term solution. Outside of COBRA, there are a few places to start looking for your preferred freelance provider. The first is healthcare.gov, which is a marketplace for enrolling for healthcare via the federal government. Remember, the enrollment window for this is limited and takes place beginning in November, lasting just a few weeks. Of course, if you have a qualifying life event, such as getting married, giving birth, or switching jobs, you can enroll at those times as well. Another option is to look into unions or guilds. There are guilds for writers, producers, creatives, and a host of other professions. The Freelancers Union is among one of the more popular choices here. Visit freelancersunion.org health to learn more.